And after the funeral, the late pro-democracy activist and 14th president of Korea was laid to rest at Seoul National Cemetery. Park ji reports. During the 70-minute long ceremony, there were offerings of flowers and incense, and then the coffin was interred and Kim was laid to rest. Only about 250 people were allowed to attend the burial ceremony, including members of Kim's family and friends and politicians who were close to him, including former National Assembly speakers Kim Soo-han and Park Kwan-yong and the current speaker Jung Eui hwa Before Kim's funeral procession arrived at the cemetery, it traveled through his home neighborhood of Sangdo-dong in southern Seoul. The procession also made a trip by the Kim young sun Memorial Library, which is still under construction. The detour was taken to commemorate the late pro-democracy leader's lifelong contributions to the nation. The late president had one last message for the country before his death, unity and harmony. Now that there are many politicians who are claiming to be heirs to Kim's political legacy, we just hope that they will honor the late leader's words into practice. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.